Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another rebuild. We're going to be taking on the Houston Texans here. Always like to get them within my first couple rebuilds because they're a fun-ass team to play with. They're just really fun. Um, I mean, obviously, it, it could get tough in this division from time to time, but I really like it now, especially that they, you know, they don't have Hopkins. It's going to be more of a rebuild. Obviously, they did pick up guys like Brandon Cooks, who's a speedster. Still got Will Fuller, who's a speedster. Kenny Stills. Problem with the receivers right now is they're just a bit up there in age. And they don't really have X-Factors or even Superstar right now. So, I feel like the regression is going to be pretty bad for him. Now, I'm going to give David Johnson the full snaps. Because I believe that's likely how it's going to be for them IRL. I mean, they, they went after him. They wanted him. So, we'll see what he can do here with Deshaun. Obviously, Deshaun's going to be a monster. Ratings are probably insane. Yeah, they're pretty good. Eighth quarterback in the league. Already got a scape artist, agile defender. Um, No doubt about it, tight end's really tough. I'm not mad at her tackles. You know, Howard Starr here, He's he should be able to upgrade quite well. Laramie Tunsil, one of the better left tackles in the league. Now, interiorly, it is a bit tough. Especially with Zach Fulton. I believe he has a massive contract. And he's 28. Not the best stats in the world either. So offense is looking to... I mean, it, we got pieces, but we definitely need to improve. Defense. I mean, we, we got JJ. We got Blacklock here, the rookie. Um, besides that, it's a bit rough. I like Reed, you know, Merciless. Linebackers, I guess, aren't bad, but Merciless is a bit up there in age. Cunningham and McKinney aren't bad linebackers for... You know, the middle to go along with Dylan Cole for the third. But we really just need to get, since we are running a 3-4 defense, we have to get some outside pass rushers. Because I believe Merciless is going to regress really bad. Um, Yeah, defense is, uh, it needs upgraded. That's all there is to it. It needs a bit upgraded. Now, I'm not mad at actually at our D line right here. I mean, we got JJ, we got Blacklock, and then we got this guy who's, you know, is not the best but he's only 23 so i think he can upgrade quite well for us so we'll see what he can do i mean that's what the squad is looking like i mean man we got some work to do we got some work to do but at least we got a quarterback like deshaun some nice receivers to start it season goal is playoffs for me i think they got the playoffs we'll see what happens let's get to mid-season see if we got anybody to resign all right, resigning period is here. Damn, dude. Oh, my. We got two receivers right off the bat that are starters I want resigned. Oh, shit. And we're not in a great cap situation. And Deshaun's contract is coming up as well. Oh, yikes, dude. This is going to be really bad. This is going to be really freaking bad. Kenny Stills. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I can't pay Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills is going to have to go. He's 28. So that's probably a decent one. I mean, I don't know. I need better man coverage than that. Jeez, dude. What is happening? Okay, wow. It's a rough signing period here. We got some nice guys that... I mean, they're a bit older, if I'm being honest. Zach Cunningham's 25. Man, he's only a 75 overall, though. Not bad stats. I really don't know why his stats are so bad. I don't know, dude. It's tough because I feel like we want to save money because we have massive resignings coming up. I'd really like to bring back Fuller, though. A four-year deal is its pretty insane for me. That's a lot of money. We'll bring back Will Fuller. That's the only person at the moment I'm going to bring back. I'll see Zach Cunningham. You know, we'll have to see what kind of a season he has. Yeah, but besides that, I'm, I'm really just looking at Will Fuller at the moment. I got to see what kind of a season these other guys have. Yikes, dude. No playoffs, all right? What happened? Okay, we're 5-10-1. That's nice. That's always nice, right? What the hell? How are we 5-10-1? Okay, um, I am, that's a hard thing to believe. Especially when we upgraded Dees. We upgraded really decent. Our freaking right tackle has five upgrades. Deshaun has four. Wow, what the hell happened? Defense upgraded decent as well. Cunningham had three. 
Damn, I probably should have resigned him right off the bat. I don't know. We'll see what kind of a season they had. What happened? Seventh in offensive yard. Oh my, Deshaun. 28th in defensive. Yikes. Uh, okay, Deshaun. That's that's a decent year. 4,400 yards. 27 to 12. Bit high on the picks, but I mean, 4,400 yards. 63% completion. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Maybe we should have made damn Duke Johnson the starter. He had 12 touchdowns. Yeah, whoa. Watson. Okay. I mean, David still nearly had a 1,000-yard year. He still had 4.1 average. So it looked like maybe Duke Johnson maybe sniped a couple. Maybe, you know, they came out when he they were near the goal line. Receiving. Holy shit. We had three near 1,000-yard receivers. Okay. Um... You get six touchdowns by Stills, four by Cook, six by Fuller, nine by our tight end. So tight end's massive for this team. So we need to get a decent one. Man, our offense was on point. I'm not mad at our offense. Sacks, that's tough. Both tackles allowed double digits. Holy. Mm. 118 tackles by McKinney. 105 by Conley, 92. So Zach Cunningham did only have 70. I don't know. Maybe we don't bring him back. Sacks. We get 10 by Watt. 6 by Merciless. 5 by Charles. Okay. Pass rush isn't bad. Interceptions. 4 by Roby. I'm a fan of Roby, dude. Okay. I mean... I don't, I don't really have problems with this. I mean... Looks like... Maybe we just got to upgrade a defense a bit. Because we were... I, I think it said 6th or 4th in offensive yards. Yearly awards, what's going on there? Cam wins. Cam's won it quite a bit for the Patriots. And we ain't in the conversation. All right. I see how it is. Let's go ahead and get to the offseason. See if we can, uh, you know, sign any free agents. All right, we're here in free agency. And I know there's some mighty juicy running backs up here. I just don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be realistic. You know, Houston went after freaking uh, David Johnson. I just feel like. I don't know. I just don't feel like that'd be realistic to go after freaking Kamara. First of all, I don't think the Saints would ever let him go. So, yeah, I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, and David Johnson didn't have a bad year with our duo back there. So, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go after one player. I mean, we're not in a great cap situation. Don't want to spend too much. Because Watson's contract is coming up. I mean, it is. As you can see, yeah. Deshaun, I, I'm pretty sure it's, it's up next year. So, yeah, I'm going to offer one contract, Keanu O'Neal. I'd really like to just get that safety core to being real dirty. Because we already have Justin Reed, and we pair him with Keanu. We got two nice safeties back there. Defense was our weak spot, so, I mean, why not? Just get a nice safety core. Yes, okay. We'll get Keanu O'Neal there. Happy about that one. Let's get to the draft. Okay, well, yikes. Having a bad record didn't help it at all because we only have a third pick. Jeez. Okay. That's rough. Damn, I'm super torn here, dude. There's a nasty speed rusher I'm really liking. Actually, you know what? He has a first-round grade on him. It's between this guy, Teddy Pearman. And since we did lose Kenny, I wanted to go white out. Freaking Harvey Wall looks nasty. He also has a first-round grade on him. Just what do we need more? Oh gosh, she has B plus release, dude. B plus release. I don't know. That's really dirty. We do need a pass rusher real bad, though. Our defense was super tough last year. Yeah, I'm going pass rusher. I mean, we we were like fourth in offensive yards. So I'm hoping that can hold up. I'm going after Teddy Perriman. He looks to be a nasty speed rush. You're in a 4-5 damn 8, dude. The Raiders. Okay, 32nd in true talent. Drafted him at 70. Not mad at that. 87 speed. Definitely got to work on those. Eh, def got to work on those pass rush moves. But he's likely going to start out there for us. Well, I'm looking to trade up here for uh, the Raiders third round pick. Because I really want that receiver. We I want to get that taken care of real quick like. So to be honest, I'm not seeing much talent later in the draft. So I'd, I mean, I wouldn't be mad to give up. 
two fourths and maybe even like a sixth. Well, we'll see what this gets. It's probably not going to get it done. Oh, wow, it does. Okay. Not mad at that. So we give up two fourth round picks and a sixth round pick to move back up into the third because there's a nasty receiver, I think it's going to be. I mean, a first round grade on him. After, I mean, I know we got a, I got a pass rusher, but it wasn't what I was hoping for. So, see if we can make up for it on this pick. Harvey Wall. He looks nasty, dude. Looks nasty. The Cowboys. All right. Oh, 12th and true talent. That's massive. That's massive. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad we traded up for him. Oh, my gosh, dude. We're just building a massive speed wide receiving core. Cooks, Fuller. Now this Harvey Wall. Yes. All right, so this will be the last pick we show here. I do need to try to get another middle linebacker since we did lose uh, the one in free agency. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know if any of these guys are going to be great, but we got to take a shot here. Jeremy Scott. Uh, I mean, Jerry Scott, come on. Give me something, dude. Give me something. The bills eh, Okay. I mean, <laughs> not great. Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like his awareness is just really low, but besides that, maybe block shed? That's not a horrible one. He might be able to upgrade for us. That'll be the last pick we show here unless I find a gym later in the draft. But uh, if not, let's go ahead and get right into the start of year two. All right, so we're back here at the start of year two. Really, offense hasn't changed much. The only additions we added was literally a wide receiver. So Wall is just going to be our slot guy. Besides that, we're actually the exact same on offense. Fortunately, I guess O-line upgraded a little bit. So we're, I mean, hopefully, hopefully. Tight end's the same. Really wasn't able to address that. But, I mean, Fells played great last year with the touchdown. So not mad at that. I mean, our receiving core still upgrading with Cooks, Fuller. Then now that we added Wall there. See what happens. Still going to have David Johnson as the number one running back. I mean, he's in his last year anyway. So we'll see what he can do for us. Defense here. Um, to be honest, not much changed on defense either. Um, we added a safety in Keanu Neal. And then we did uh, lose our middle linebacker that we placed with Scott in the draft. Besides that, really the same. Blacklock is still starting. He's going to be our rushing defensive tackle. So, yeah, he put up a decent year. I do want to get this guy a lot of snaps though because I didn't think he did. But he has like an 84 power move. 86 power move. So, yeah. He's definitely going to be a starter. I'm actually making him my rushing right in. Because, I mean, we obviously need JJ in there. We need uh, this guy in there. We need Blacklock in there. And I'm just going to throw Merciless as our rushing left end as well. So, yeah, we still do need to upgrade. But, uh, I mean, at least we're upgrading. We got 286 overall safeties. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. So, we'll see if our defense can get improved. Offense, I mean, didn't lose anybody. So, we should not not improve there. We'll see what Wall can do. I'm super excited to see what he can do. Definitely think it's a playoff year. Let's set the season goal for playoffs. No, I said that the first year. We went five wins. Come on, though. Let's make the playoffs, dude. Let's get to midseason, though. Check out if we got any big... Re oh, wow. I think we do have Deshaun. Okay. Well, oh, my. Oh, freaking my. 220 over six? Bruh. Okay. It's a 32 mil cap, and I mean, obviously we're doing it, but that's that's big. That's big. Hey, um, are they going to make me resign every superstar we have? Yeah, throw JJ in there. 20 mil cap hit, nothing big. Oh, Reed as well. Yeah, throw them all in there, dude. Oh, both are starting running backs. Throw them in. Oh, my. God. Hey, let's calm down here, game. That's most of our starting roster. Yikes, yeah, so we're going to be in a bit of a tough situation because there's no way I can bring all these guys back. Uh, to be honest, I'm looking to bring back, probably going to let Johnson go if he doesn't have a great year. Duke Johnson as well. Um, Three guys we got to bring back though is JJ, Deshaun, and then Reed. And we're pretty much going to be broke after that. Holy shit, what is going on with our team? We put up three points in the last week. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, yeah, three points to dream, right? What the hell? What is happening? I mean, because it's not like we're not upgrading. Like, we're getting upgrades on offense. It's happening. 
Okay, I mean, freaking we are. Defense is upgrading. I don't know. I feel like we're just getting it rough. Uh, what's our record? Oh, we went 8-8. Eight eight. I guess it is better than last year. I don't know why we're struggling so damn bad. I mean, Watson, okay. 18th. Offensive yards went down. Defensive yards went up, though. That's nice. That at least means we're improving there. My homeboy wins MVP. Deshaun comes in at 10. Okay. What about offensive rookie? Did our guy do anything that we drafted? Ah. Wasn't even in the... Oh. He was, at, he was the third. Our linebacker won defensive rookie of the year. Now, what did our stats look like? About, about the same type of a year from Deshaun. Just more picks. 4,100 yards, 28 touchdowns, 15 picks. I don't know what's going on with him. 61% completion rate. I mean, I know he was sacked 26 times, but that's, I mean, it ain't as much as he's used to. That's that's cut down a mighty lot to what he's used to. David, oh, run game was rough. Yeah, run game was really damn rough. Averaged three yards a damn carry. Deshaun averaged more than our running backs. Brandon, I mean, our receivers are doing the things. There's no doubt about it. 82, 954 for Cooks. Oh my gosh, Harvey. You're a rook. 62, 940, and 4. 15.3 yards a grab, man. 75, 806 for Fuller. Fells is a touchdown monster. Blocking. I mean, right tackle allowed 10. Besides that, we actually played pretty well. Defense, 113 tackles by McKinney. 104 by Johnson. Rookie, oh wow, rookie does work. 93 tackles, 8 tackles for loss. Sacks, 10 by Watts, 7 by Merciless. Couple by Charles there, McKinney getting some. Get 3 picks by Roby, 3 by Croson, 2 by McKinney, 2 by Johnson, alright. Okay, I mean, I, I, we, I don't know, we just gotta improve, I guess, in places. Running back's going to be tough because we're losing both our running backs this year. All right, guys, quick draft recap here. So we hit on about three players. Didn't really get much else later in the draft, but we hit on three players that we really needed. So we needed a running back, obviously, after losing both Duke and David. So I went after J.J. Yates here. He actually ended up being real nice. Because he's a power back, but he's, he's just the one of the most balanced backs you'll get out there. So he's got great carrying, nice speed, agility. Good break tackle, he can juke, spin, got change of direction, truck, stiff arm, your face off, got the strength you would need. Catching's a bit rough, but I don't know, maybe now that we got a running back that can get out there and just do some things, we'll see. Um, so yeah, we got him. We also went after a left outside linebacker, because Merciless is regressing, he did end up having hidden development. Um, I know he doesn't have the greatest of stats to begin with, but he's probably going to start out there at the left outside linebacker. I want to get some young guys in there. He's got hidden development. Hopefully, he can upgrade really nice. And then uh, we got a tight end that we really needed as well. So he's 6'4", 270, and he can, uh, he's got speed for that weight. He's got all the yards. I mean, the traits you'd want. Aggressive, possession, fight for yards, for all hits, cover, ball, great ones. Um, he can catch, so yeah, he's definitely going to be the starting tight end for us. So I'm not mad at that. We need we needed those positions. We filled them. Still got a couple holes. It just was not a great draft for corners at all. I feel like every time I need a cornerback, there's never the draft for him, but I'm feeling pretty good about these guys. I'm really hyped to see what Yates can do. Hey, you know what? Maybe we can do something this year. Maybe. Um, I'd hope. I'd hope. We weren't able to address the right guard that we lost, unfortunately. That could hurt us really bad. Um, I mean, we just have had to add a lot of people, and we've been in a rough spot because we just haven't had cap. Like, last year, I wanted to sign people, but after we re-signed Watson and JJ and the Reed, I mean, we just, we had three mil, literally. So just couldn't make any big signings. Offense is the same, except we replaced the running back with Yates. They're still upgrading offensively, though. Brandon Cooks really hasn't went down. Neither has Fuller. Wall sitting at a 78 overall. D 
defense. I think it's getting better, though. It definitely is getting better. So we're going to start our rookie pass rusher here. Then the pass rusher we drafted last year is going to start on the opposite side. I mean, Scott's looking pretty nice now, especially that he won Defensive Rookie of the Year. So he's up to a 73 overall. Uh, I mean, awareness is still low, but he's getting up there. He's getting up there. He still had good stats. Our pass rush should get there this year. Roby ended up getting Superstar. Johnson's upgraded well. Um, yeah. So safeties are there as well. I mean, defense should be there this year. I don't. I hope it doesn't get worse, and I hope our offense gets a little better than it was last year. So let's go ahead and get to midseason again. Hey guys, we're one and damn six. I I don't get it. Our, what the hell? Okay, well Houston's a very tough team to rebuild. What in the shit? Alright, I'm not sure how we're getting worse. That's that's news. That's news. I mean, I'll probably bring back Roby since he's only looking for a one-year contract. What else do... Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like every year, most of our roster is going up to damn free agency. Okay, like two guard... I mean, two really important pieces of our O-line are going up. I'm definitely bringing back Max Sharping. Nick Martin's tough because he's our center, but he's 29. That's a tough one because he's only normal development, so he's gonna re uh, he's gonna regress probably down to 72 ish. Yeah, I'm definitely I can't bring back him. I'd like to, but just wouldn't be worth. So we'll go after Max here. I, I do want to bring back Lonnie. He's been nice for us. Charles has to come back. Titus Howard has to come back. Bradley has to come back. So yeah, we'll let everybody else test besides them. But man, I feel like every year we just got to keep on resigning. All right, so no playoffs again. We did lose to the Washington football team. I'm not proud of it. Um, just not. I'm actually embarrassed. Okay. Um, 3-13. and 3-13, yeah. Okay. Sounds uh sounds nice to me, you know. It just sounds nice. We have Watson, you know. That's he's just a three and thirteen quarterback. Okay, I mean, okay. <sighs> I just don't get. I just don't get it. Let's check out the stats for the year. See what happened. See if we can figure out what the hell. Okay, thirty first in offensive yards. Nice. Twenty seventh in defensive. We're getting worse somehow. We're getting worse. Oh my gosh, dude. Watson had a horrible year. 22 to 12. That's a horrible year. That I mean, there's no... I I can't even make an excuse. That's just a horrible year. And I'm a Watson fan, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's... How, I, I just don't know. JJ Yates, I mean... Uh, well, he only averaged 3.2 yards a carry. I don't know. I feel like the problem might be that we're just running it too much. Yeah, it's 60 carries on top of that, about 300. Add about 60 more, about 360. And then you add about 40 more. I mean, damn, we're running it about 400 times. How many times did Watson even pass? Uh, only a bit more we passed it than run. I'd like to be a bit more passing team. Especially with the receivers we have. I mean, put up some yards. Touchdowns were rough to come by except for Harvey Wall, who had 10. Okay, he's insane. Tight end didn't do much, unfortunately. Sacks. Titus Howard allowed nine. Besides that, I mean, not bad. Okay, well, center can allow seven, right? Defense, 130 tackles by McKinney. 97 by Scott. 92 by Roby. We get 16 and a half sacks by Watt, and then everybody else just damn disappears. Damn. Literally everybody else disappeared. I mean, Charles put up some nice total stats, I guess. Not many picks either. I don't know what the hell's going on. I feel like one year we're up, don't change much, add players, we go down. And then, I mean, I don't know, it's weird. So I guess third year, no playoffs. Third year, haven't even had a winning record. We've had an even record. Okay, at least we might have some cap to spend in free agency. I'm all right, there, I guess we're not in a great cap situation. It's just, it's rough for the Texans. Because, yeah, they have some nice players, but you just can't sign free agents. 
So, I mean, Kamara's up there again. I'd love to go after him, but we're going to give Yates a chance. I'm just going to go after a left guard. And my reasoning behind that is I'm actually going to bounce him to center because we need a center really bad. And to get a 90 overall center would be massive for us I, because I think center is really important. The awareness for him affects your entire O-line. And he's got 93. Please let me have him. Nobody else is even offering a contract, dude. We can't sign anybody else either. What the hell overall is... What is that? What's going on with the... Do you see the overall on Andy Isabella where it's going like... I don't even know what that is. It's supposed to be wide receiver. I, okay. Um, Yeah, I'd like to go after multiple people. Brian Burns would be nasty. Just don't got the cap. So yeah, we'll just try to go after this guard. I, hopefully that'll repair our offense. Because if our offense isn't performing, we're not going to perform. Yes, okay, we get him. So we're going to immediately bound him to center. And then, I guess, see if we can make some draft picks. I mean, we should pick fairly high. All right, this is getting rough heading into year four. I think it's time to switch to a 4-3. I believe we're more of a 4-3 team, especially after drafting this Devin Browning. He's a monster pass rusher. Who was the number one true talent guy in the whole draft? Yeah, he's insane. He's insane. Great speed. Nice strength. Uh, well, not great strength, but it's okay strength. That power move is everything, though. Got all the uh, stats you would want. I mean, traits. Yeah. I think a 4-3 is really going to suit us because JJ could play inside. We could have Blacklock play inside. We could slide Charles outside, and then we could put this guy outside as well. I just think we're more of a 4-3 team. I want after another running back just because we run it so much. Just give a little more help there. Have two monsters back there. Because these guys are basically the same. They're very balanced running backs. And that could be a nasty duo. And then we also went after a wideout. I mean, I, d I just... We didn't need much. I mean, we have players. I'm just waiting for them to upgrade a little bit. But I think switching to a 4-3 might help our defense out mightily. Alright, so offense... Um, Yeah, we're going to put Jenkins up there at the start. Uh, we're going to have to start him there. Put Jenkins back up there. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're looking like now. I'm pretty happy with this considering, you know, now we have a 91 overall center. Um, I mean, this guy's better than who we have, so let's start him as well. Yeah, we still do need a guard, but I'm really hoping that this center helps. I think it should. I think it should. Tight ends up to a 77 overall. Whiteouts are still hanging on to those overalls. I'm really hoping we can do something before they start regressing. Well, we only have a year left, so... We'll see two the running backs we drafted should be nice duo. Deshaun's up to a 95. Alright, if he doesn't have a great year, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah, he's got every stat you would want, right? Every one. Every, literally every one. Now, defense here. Um, I'm liking the way it looks now that we switched to a 4-3 a lot more. So we're going to have Watt play DT along with Blacklock. Browning's going to play the left end and then Charles will play right. Really liking the way our front seven's looking now. Because now we get Bush to play linebacker McKinney and then Scott's going to bounce out to the left side. And then our safeties are both nearly 90 overalls. I mean, team's coming around. Corners are still a bit tough, but at least Roby does have that superstar. Yeah, corner on defense, really, I'm only worried about our cornerbacks at the moment. Everything else is coming together quite well. And so is the offense, man. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to have some serious problems if we don't do something this year. Because I don't see anything on offense why we don't make the playoffs. Maybe we not, might not have an insane record, but we're a playoff caliber team. There's no doubt about that. If we have a losing record again. Was oh, that a new X Factor for JJ? Relentless. Alright. Let's go. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's freaking see. The Texans are actually, they, they, there's something wrong with them in the sim, there has to be. There's no way we start off every season either with one win or two. We're upgrading, we're getting better. Guys? Um, I'm, I, I, I don't know about this. I mean, I'm not saying we have the most insane team, but I'm, are, are we literally a two and five team every year? No, the answer is just a no. Yikes, dude, yikes. That's tough. I don't know what to do about that either.
Because it, I mean, I'm not getting really any any feedback. Like, one year we're insane offensively and defensively. The next year, one's ratcheted up and one's down, and then they're both just garbage. What the hell do I do about that? I don't know. This is one of the tougher rebuilds I've had, I, and it's not because of the talent. JJ, Laramie, oh my god. And it just keeps on getting worse for resignings. It gets worse. Holy shit. Maybe we'll clear up some cap when Whitney Merciless gets out of here because he's he's got about a 8 mil cap hit. So the players for sure I'm going to bring back. Blacklock, obviously. If Roby can hang on to that 80 overall, I wouldn't be mad at keeping him. McKinney, I mean, we have to bring him back at this point. Holy shit, dude. Brandon Cooks, Laramie Tunsil, JJ, they all have to come back. What is our cap? Okay, well, we can probably sign these guys. Dude, this is so rough. This is the roughest one I've had so far in this Madden. I mean, it is. It is. Oh, what do we go? Oh, 5 and 11. Okay, nice. That's always nice. Oh, wow. Someone won the... Someone won the division at 6 and 10. Someone won the division at 6 and 10 and it couldn't be me? Okay. You know what, dude? We can't if we can't even get six wins in a year. Um, that's tough. You know, it's just tough. Holy shit, dude! This is I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Yikes, dude! Yikes! I'm not getting it. I'm really not. I, I, I'm not. Go have to check the stats again. Garbage year by everybody, right? 29th in offensive yards, Coolio. Deshaun's only a worse than defensive yards in the league. Nice. Deshaun's only about a 99 overall. You know, I'd expect that from him. 36. Oh, wow. How do we go for... Dude, see, how does this make sense? We didn't have a great center last year. We added a 90 overall center. We go from 20 sacks to 52. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. 20 to 8. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Running back just isn't running well. I mean, I'm, I don't think that's why we're not winning. I don't know what it is, though. Still getting a 1,000 yards out of Harvey Wall. He's a freaking monster. Brandon Cooks and Fuller are starting to go down in production a bit. Tight end got six touchdowns. Holy shit. Okay. Well, well, that's that's not good, Laramie Tonsil. I just signed you to a massive contract. And you allow double digit sacks. Defense 106 tackles by Scott. 98 by McKinney, 87 by Neal. I mean, production for sacks was a little bit better going under the 4 3. 13 and a half by Watt. 7 and a half by the rookie. Four by Charles. I mean, Blacklock's got to give me some more production, dude. He's got to. Not many picks either, dude. Two for Reed, two by John Reed. Yikes, this is a rough one. I, don't, I honestly don't know what to do here. Like, I don't know what to go after. Because we're, we're heading into the fifth year. Are we literally going to go five years without making the playoffs? We're going to have to make some signings. We're going to have to make some signings. We might actually have some money this year. All right, guys. It's um, it's getting rough out here. Don't got... Well, we had a decent amount of caps, so we're going after some monsters. All right, we're going to go after Kenny Clark. I, I'm just doing it because Black Luck hasn't been performing for me, so I think if we pair Kenny Clark with a JJ in the 4-3, uh, I mean, who's running against that? And I'm also going running back... I mean, I've gave Yates two years, and he just hasn't produced. He's averaged three yards a carry. So I think it's time to improve there at an elusive back like DeAndre Swift. And I think that might help the offense out mightily. We're also going to have to Trayvon Diggs because it's, uh, it's another garbage free agency for corners. Uh, draft wasn't looking promising either. So, gosh, I'm just hoping we get Kenny Clark. If we don't get Kenny Clark, it's looking rough for the fifth year. My only hope here is if we get Kenny Clark, we got a serious shot at doing something here. I feel like if we pair two X-Factor DTs, 
that could get nasty. And then Trayvon Diggs' stats aren't the worst. I know we still need corners, but man, it's been rough this rebuild for that. Um, and that's that's really some of the main positions we need. Ah, please, dude, please, please, come on, come on. Yeah, so I thought Kenny Clark was going to decline it too because he had multiple offers. So we get Kenny Clark, we get Trayvon, we get DeAndre Swift. Much needed talent for the team. We st The only position we're actually missing right now, that's of importance, is number one cornerback. If there's one in the draft that we can snag. Second one, we have got to get a guard. We have to get a left guard. Our offensive line isn't bad as a total. I like Jenkins the center, but we need to get a left guard. If we get that, I mean, what else do we need on offense? Nothing. We don't need anything. And then, I mean, obviously we could get better like elite-wise, but I, we're not going to get elite in the draft. And then defense, I'm just not mad at anything but corners. So what I'm targeting this draft, cornerbacks and a left guard. That's it. That's it. That's all we need, dude. Uh, I'm just hoping this draft is going to be there for me. All right. So, I mean, we did get the guard we needed. So, he's a 78 overall. Not mad at it either. We got a pretty decent guard when we picked. So, left guard, exactly what we needed. Nice impact blocking. Awareness is a bit low, but offensive line is not as concerning as it Well, it's just not concerning anymore. We have some nice players there. Um, I got a cornerback, unfortunately. I mean, this was literally one of the better cornerbacks in the draft. It's got head in development, just ratings aren't there. Ratings aren't there. So, cornerbacks are going to have to stick to what they were. That's, I mean, that's literally our weakest position. I'm fine with everything else. Cornerbacks will just rough this rebuild. Oh, man. It's, I, I'm hoping we at least make the playoffs once here in year five because this is the fifth and final year coming up, man. Let's take a look at the roster. Man, haven't been in a Super Bowl or bust situation for a hot minute, to be honest. We, I haven't faced this situation for a little bit, so a little worried about it, a little worried about it. So season goal, it's, I mean, it is Super Bowl or bust last season. Please don't do it to me, Matt. Just come on, please. And we lost a preseason game. How are we losing, dude? All right, let's take a look at the roster. I mean, it's it's nasty. It's nasty. So you got Deshaun up to a 97 overall, dude. We nearly got him up to a 99 overall this rebuild. Wall's getting the start over Fuller. He's been too productive. He's also going to play the slot. I think he could be a massive player for us this year. Obviously picked up DeAndre Swift, 90 overall back. Um, That's definitely not what we're rolling with here. Jenkins is going to be playing center. Knight will be playing here. So we are going to bounce him to center. Let's actually do that real fast. So, um, I'm really hoping our offense can just perform this year, you know. And defense, and defense. I mean, nobody's getting off clean here. Got a 92 overall center. That's massive, too, because I'm telling you guys, the awareness is there. Now we don't have any weak links on the offensive line at all. So offensive line is looking nice all together. Our tight end still upgrading. So offense, I mean, it shouldn't be worrying to me. You know, it just should not be. Defense either. I mean, the one thing we could say on defense that's maybe a weak link is corners. Definitely wasn't able to get or address cornerback as much as I wanted to. But I mean, we got two nice safeties nearing that 90 overall. Linebackers have been very productive. D-line is disgusting. We got Kenny Clark, JJ. You might not think Charles and Browning have good stats, but go ahead and take a look at them. So Charles has got 92 power moves. Uh, so I, I think he should be doing some work. 13th ranked left end in the league. And then we have Browning, who's no slouch either in the pass rush department. You got him looking like, I think he had 90 power move too. He had 90 power move, 85 speed. I mean, we got some power rushers and just pass rushers in general. Especially with Kenny Clark and JJ to pair, man. And here's our specialist, as you can see. I mean, huh, hmm. I just feel like if we don't make the playoffs, something's wrong, dude. Something's wrong. So we got a team right here. We got a team right here. Let's see if we can get it, dude. Please just don't do it to me, Madden. This would be my first one already in Madden 21 that we didn't make the playoffs. Come on. Let's sim. Let's sim. We're just going to the end of the year. There's no need to uh, do midseason. It's the last year. Because it is playoffs or bust here. Playoffs or bust. 
I'm gonna go right here so you guys don't think, you know, I adjusted anything or like that. Come on. Come on, dude. If they do it to me, it's gonna be rough. I'm gonna... I don't know. Week 17, playoffs, playoffs, playoffs! No playoffs. Okay. That's the shittest rebuild I've ever done, dude. And there's there's no reasoning behind it. Like, I still... I'm, I'm thinking, how did I do something wrong? I don't have any reasoning behind this. Like, we didn't have, like, a 50 overall player playing somewhere. We just... We couldn't get past 500. We couldn't get past 8-8. Eight and eight. Every year, the Texans started out either 2-5 and five or 1-6. and six. That's their record. I mean, I don't know. I, I, that's a tough one. Sorry about that, guys. Really wanted to make the playoffs with the Texans, but... Haven't had one of these in a hot minute, to be honest, where we didn't make the playoffs. I'm pretty upset about that. I actually am really upset about that. And what the hell happened to Watson? The first two years, he was a monstrous, and we added talent around him, and he got worse. And running, I guess no matter the running back, we just don't get one. Actually, that's not a bad year from Watson, to be honest. 3,800 yards, he cut down on picks, threw 33 touchdowns. Completion percentage is tough. DeAndre Swift. What the hell, dude? We just don't get rushing touchdowns. <sighs> Receivers were there, though. There is no doubt about the receiver talent we had. That's what makes it even weirder, because we had receiver talent. I don't know. Let me know. Give me your guys' thoughts on this. Because I'm, I'm really... I don't know what happened. We had nasty... Oh, my God. I mean, we... Okay, yeah. You don't give me the playoffs game. Don't give me the playoffs game. I don't see what we did wrong. I'm heated about that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, god dang it. Okay, get out of my face. 25th in offensive yards, dude. Yikes. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the rebuild. Again, I do apologize about not being able to make the playoffs. I, there's just not much I could do there. Felt like we built the team up pretty decently. Offensive line was there towards the end. I mean, literally the only positions we could have won after was corner. And I don't think that's why we didn't make the playoffs. So, I don't know. I don't know. That was a rough one. Um, let me know who you guys do want to see next. I will be trying to get this rebuild back at some point in the near future. 100%. I'm going back for this one at some point. Let me know who you guys do want to see next. And if you guys did enjoy this, please make sure you hit that sub button. That would be greatly appreciated. We're so close to 2K subs. So I really do appreciate all the support, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.